This story is about the best mistake ever and other stories. The best mistake ever and other stories. The best mistake ever. One day, Mother Cat wanted to clean the house. Huckley, Huckley Cat wanted to help. He washed the dishes with too much soap. He, dust the du he dusted the dust all over the room. Oh, can I tell you something about this? Mm -hmm. He washed the dishes with too much soap. It's like a toothbrush. <laughs> He's using a toothbrush. And the mother's like, oh! <laughs> They're all bobcats. Huckley was no help at all. You can really help me by going to the store, said his mother. She made a shopping list. Here is what I need, she said. Butter, cream, apples, potatoes, and oranges. She started writing it. Butter, cream. Huckley wanted to help. He ran to the store. But he forgot to take the list. But we can always come back to the list to check everything that Huckley did. Now, okay, we can. His friend Lowly, Lowly Worm, was at the store too. What is the matter, Huckley? Asked Lowly. I'm not sure. They, I keep that I can't remember what Mother needs. Said Huckley. Do not worry, I will help you. Said Um, said Lowly. Um, oh yeah, something is wrong. Uh, when we something is wrong. What? Kids, it. How can Lowly come to the store without its mom? I don't know. They're both kids, and they both go to school. Butter. I think Mother said butter. Said Huckley. I bet it was peanut butter. Said Lowly. He put. He put a jar. A jar of peanut butter in the shopping cart. So look, the first list said butter, and now Lowly is changing it. Peanut butter. <laughs> now let me see. Did she say cream? Said Huckley. Ice cream. It must have been ice cream. Said Lowly. Here is chocolate and here is vanilla. Look, it, it was cream. Huckley was doing a great job while Lowly was making party food. Look, look. Every, every time you see these aliens, look, every time you keep seeing these aliens, they keep... Opening their mouth. Mm. Apples, he asked. Apple pie. Apple pie with ice cream is very good, said Lowly. Apples. Huckley, anytime Huckley says the right things, Lowly messes up with party foods. Did she want potatoes? wondered Huckley. Better get potato chips. Everyone likes potato chips, said Lowly. He and he pushed a big bag into the cart. Potatoes, right there. I think we have everything," said Huckley. Just then, Mister, just then, Mister Fumble, Mister Fumble bumped into, into the oranges. Oranges rolled everywhere. Thank you, Mister Fumble. I almost forgot the oranges," said Huckley. But Lowly had a better idea. Get orange soda. Oranges. Look at that. But Lowly, oh yeah, he said, you need something to drink with potato chips. Thanks, Lowly, he asked. He said, um, said Huckley, we do need a good drink. Huckley, Huckley paid for the food. Oh yeah, Huckley paid for the food. I'll help you take it home, said Lowly. Lowly opened the door for Huckley. Hello, Mother, said Huckley. I got everything you wanted. Why, thank you, Huckley, his mother said. Then she unpacked the bags. Huckley, this is party food. I did not want these things. Just then, the doorbell rang. It was Auntie Rose and... Her little and her little girl Lily. What a nice surprise! Said Mother Cat. 
Auntie Rose looked at the table. Oh, she said, are you having a party? Mother Cat smiled. Why, uh, yes, she said, just for you. Everyone had a good time. Mm -hmm. When the party, when the party was over, Miss mm, Mother Cat said, Huckley, you were really are a good help. Your shopping was the best mistake ever. Instead of this one, and this is another story. This, a visit to Mr. Fixit. Huckley Cat was so happy. He had just bought the perfect Mother's Mother's Day present, a cuckoo clock. Mother will love it, he said. Cuckoo went the clock. It was one o'clock. He put the clock into the basket of his bike. Then he set off for home as fast as he could. Not so fast, said Lowly Worm. Slow down, but Huckley did not slow down. He turned the corner and crashed right into Postman Pig. Cuckoo, went the clock. Officer Humph M Murphy came right over. Oh no, the clock is broken, said Huckley. You are lucky that it. That is all that is broken, said the police officer. You were going too fast, and you did not ring your bell. Huckley said, I said, I'm sorry, but my bell is broken. Off officer Humphrey told Huckley to get his bell fixed. And the pig was like, oh, I want the police officer to talk to me. I want to tell him what happened. Huckley said, Huckley and Nody went. To Mr. Fixit's store. Can you fix my bell and this cuckoo clock? asked Huckley. Of course I can, said Mr. Fixit. Come back in one hour and your bell and clock will be as good as new. Huckley and Lodi left the store. Mr. Fix Mr. Fixit set to work. He took out he took the bell apart. He took the clock apart. Now, let me see, he said. Uh-oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> if you put these two things together in the table, you'll mix them up. Okay. <laughs> wow. You put them, first you fix on one problem, like the bell, because it's really slow. If, uh, you have to do the bell first, then you can do the cuckoo clock. But look what's going to happen. Look at him, he broke his hammer. <laughs> when Huckley and Lowly came back, Mr. Fixit had everything back together again. Oh, thank you, Mr. Fixit, said Huckley. Glad to be of help, said Mr. Fixit. Huckley could hardly wait to give his mother the clock. He got him to he got to the his house and rang his bell, bike bell. Cuckoo, cuckoo. Went the bell. Huckley was very surprised. Yes. So you see why the bell is doing cuckoo? Cause you put the. Oh God, he's trying to not see this. He's trying to fix that. So, so look. he put them to, together, both of the pieces all together. Switch the pieces. Mm -hmm. Something is so wrong. Mister Fixit is not a good, 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 good fixer. Look at the clock. It's upside down. Oh, I didn't see that. Look, one o'clock is here, two o'clock. It's, it's upside down. So, do not go to Mr. Fixit's shop if you see him. Do not. And look, see Huckley's surprise. How can Mother Cats be waiting outside? Who waits outside? <laughs> ding, ding. Then he gave the clock to his mother. Happy Mother's Day, he said. Huckley was very surprised. So was his mother. What a wonderful clock, she said. I have never seen a cuckoo clock that sounds like a bell. Thank you so much, Huckley. Huckley loved his new bell, too. There was not another one like it in Busy Town. He rushed over to thank Mr. Fixit for the mix-up. And when he turned to the corner, he rang his bell. This is the one I like. 
it's called Best Friends. Best Friends. Huckley Cat and Lowly Worm were best friends. They did not. They did everything together. They walked to school together. School crossing. Oh, look, school crossing. They sat together. One plus one is two. They always played together at playtime. At snack time, everyone, every day, Huckley and Lowly got the milk and cookies for cl the class. Miss Honey was very happy, was happy to have such good friends in her class. And after school, they played together as, at Huckley's house. But one morning, Huckley waited and waited for Lowly. Hur hurry, Huckley! Or you will be late for school, said Officer Humphrey. Huckley ran to school. He hoped that Lowly was not sick. Today was Huckley's birthday. He wanted to show his birthday presents to Lowly after school. He left his presents there. Look, right there. He left the presents on his way. Huckley ran into his classroom. He was surprised to see Lowly. Uh, he was even more surprised to see Lowly sitting with Willy Rabbit. What is the matter? Are you mad at me? Asked Huckley, but Lowly did not answer. He just giggled. Then Lowly whispered something to Willy, and they both giggled. Suddenly, Huckley felt sad. I mean, anytime it's birthdays, any birthday party, they make the person feel sad and pretend like they forgot about their birthday. But then, happy birthday! Then they remind them that they didn't forget. At playtime, Lonely was busy whispering to everyone. Everyone but Huckley. Huckley was felt even sadder. At snack time, Miss Honey said, Today, Lonely and Willie will get our snacks. Huckley felt awful. This is the worst day of my life! He thought. Soon, Lowly and Willie came back. Surprise, said Lowly. They were carrying a birthday cake. The whole, the whole, the whole class sang happy birthday to Huckley. Then Huckley made a wish and blowed out the candles. And blew out the candles. Mm -hmm. Look, so look, see the fox and see? This is from, Miss, this is Mr. Fixit's son. And can I tell you something, Kobe? Mm -hmm. Look. The smoke is what went into Mr. Fixit mouth. Mm -hmm. What was your wish? asked Lowly. I cannot tell you or it won't it will not come true. No no no. When 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 you, you could tell people your wish, it, it even if even if you tell the wish, it'll still come true. Sometimes it won't because it's not meant real. to be. Not meant to be. Then Mrs. Honey cut the cake, and everyone had a piece. Mmm, good, said Huckley. After school, and after school, Huckley and Lowly played at Huck with Huckley's new train set. This morning, I was afraid that you did not want to be my best friend anymore, said Huckley. I will always be your best friend, said Lowly. Huckley was very happy his birthday wish came had came true he uh, he and lowly would always be best friends well that was it the end